Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? This is Spartan here, nutrition training hormone expert and Prometheus Pro bodybuilder. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how to increase androgen receptor sensitivity. Guys, androgen receptors are the receptors found on cells all throughout the human body, most notably in muscle tissue, muscle cells, um, in the brain, on the adrenal glands, just to name a few. So basically guys, androgen receptor sites are what is what testosterone binds onto to exert muscle building effects, anabolic effects, um, and also create nervous system changes. Think about strength gains, as well as faster recovery um, and changes to uh, tissue structures, tendon, uh, ligaments, etc., and also bone tissue. Guys, let's get started. How to increase androgen receptor sensitivity. Um, again, this is one of the most important things um, in regards to bodybuilding, building muscle, because whether you are a natural athlete or an enhanced athlete uh, with a HRT clinic, TRT, um, or you know, you're taking anabolics, if they're legal in your country, um, having said all that, guys, natural or enhanced, um, it makes no difference. This is absolutely um, key and a very, very important topic that is not talked about enough. So how to increase androgen receptor sensitivity to make the most gains. Number one, guys, we're gonna list off major ways and also minor ways. Um, we're gonna start right along with the major. Let's focus right on the major. Number one way, guys, is with high intensity training. And I'm not talking about just the training Dorian Yates used um, and primarily Ronnie Coleman, but I'm talking about more of a, a scale or type of training. I'm talking about when I say the major way, high, high intensity training, I'm talking about the higher the intensity of the workout, the more um, AR receptor site upregulation you're gonna get. In layman's terms, the higher androgen receptor sensitivity you're gonna get. Guys, this has been proven, this has been shown. You can look up this, you can look this up. Um, androgen receptor upregulation in response to training. Um, so this is a common known fact. Um, or should be by now. Uh, having said that, guys, um, moving on from intensity of, act, uh, intensity of training, the second major way, guys, to increase androgen receptor sensitivity is none other than the incredible, powerful L-carnitine tear trait. Now, L-carnitine, guys, is bio, uh, available bioactive in foods, uh, especially meat, as a note, the redder the meat, the more L-carnitine is found in meat, typically. Um, it's even found in egg yolks, egg whites, things like this. But typically, guys, the more redder the meat, the higher level of L-carnitine. Now, unless you're eating, you know, five pounds of red meat a day, which I did at my peak, um, having, having said that, um, unless you're doing that, you are not maximizing um, L-carnitine suppl supplementation as high as you could. Uh, so if you want to maximize, guys, what you want to be doing is taking L-carnitine tear trait. L-carnitine tear trait is probably, in my opinion, one of the most power su powerful supplements in the world. Uh, watch my video, six supplements that work if you need more information. Um, L-carnitine tear trait will directly upregulate androgen receptor sites in the body. Wow, amazing concept, I know. And even some of that L-carnitine will cross the blood-brain barrier and um, upregulate androgen receptor sites in the brain. Um, I know most people think that's only acetyl L-carnitine, but some of the L-carnitine does actually pass the blood-brain barrier and upregulate androgen receptor sites in the brain, but that is a completely uh, different video. We're not gonna go into that now. So guys, the two major ways to increase androgen receptor sensitivity, um, two tried, tested, and proven methods, High intensity training, the higher the intensity of exercise, the more upregulation, and also L-carnitine tear trait supplementation. Um, watch my video on the six supplements. Guys, I'm gonna be giving dosages um, in more videos and also uh, on my website, spartanempire.com. You can feel free to check out my supplement plan. Having said that, guys, let's roll right away into the minor ways. Um, um, you will not upregulate as much as these major ways, but this is very important nonetheless. So number one, guys, sleep. Sleep is super, super uh, underrated, especially in the United States of America. I feel like everybody's always going 
you know, energy, energy drinks, coffee, caffeine. Um, but sleep, guys, sleep is so important, uh, not just for muscle gain uh, in general and all the physiological pro processes that are, that are involved with sleep, but also in terms of androgen receptor upregulation. Uh, when you sleep, um, delta and REM sleep, your body is pushing blood flow into the muscles and your receptor sites are going to be upregulating. And this works actually in conjunction with your body's natural growth hormone, which is released in delta wave sleep. And this typically occurs during the first five hours of the night. Uh, I think I gave you more information than you needed, but hey, that's, that's what I do. Um, having said that, guys, the second minor way to increase androgen receptor sensitivity is by HGH, also known as human growth hormone. Not that I need to spell it out, but you guys get it. Human growth hormone. So HGH, um, I just talked about how it works in sleep a little bit, but human growth hormone basically is the hormone that acts like a mechanic for every single cell in the human body. This is why, you know, when you're younger, you're 18, you're 12, whatever, um, watch my video on uh, uh, Prometheus HRT, me talking about the clinic, I explain how human growth hormone basically is the highest uh, when you're born, it basically lowers, 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 and it's still pretty high when you hit 18, but then it starts dropping off. Uh, what I'm talking about is, is that HGH acts as the repair hormone or mechanic hormone, as I'm, I like to call it, for every single cell in the human body. We're talking uh, muscle tissue, tendons, joints, ligaments. Um, we're talking hair, skin, nails, bone, everything. So in regards to resetting, replenishing, and upregulating, as well as management of AR receptor sites, HGH is key, absolutely key to... Um, upregulating androgen receptor sites, even without training, you're going to get a minor bump in androgen receptor sensitivity just from HGH, um, either maximizing your natural uh, HGH secretion or also uh, going to a clinic like Prometheus HRT and getting either growth hormone releasing peptides to, to bump your levels up to where you were when you were a teenager or just getting synthetic HGH if you're older. Um, we can talk about that in a different video, but guys, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it when talking about how to increase androgen receptor sensitivity. Guys, if you need, if you, if you are interested in getting your hands on or basically raising your HGH level to where you were when you were 18 at your peak, um, go ahead and watch my video, uh, Prometheus HRT, why it's the best clinic. Um, I explain that in there basically in a nutshell, guys. If you're over 35, most likely they're going to give you a synthetic HGH enough to put you back up at your peak where you were when you were 18 so that you can reap these, get these results, these gains. And if you're younger than 35, uh, typically your pituitary is still uh, good and responsive. They'll be giving you things such as ipamorelin, CJC, NODAC, which are peptides, again, to raise you back up to your peak. Guys, that's pretty much it. How to increase androgen receptor sensitivity. An important video, important topic, and we are out of here.